welcome to part two of the pricing model so part one we have uh, we have had a, a worksheet that calculates uh, the pricing model as a relative addressing so now we look at the spreadsheet or second part that is the absolute we use an absolute cell addresses like this one we have uh, the markup rate, the VAT rate, and also the customer discount rate. That is uh, 25%, 14%, and 95% from B1 to B3. We write there our read there. So we no longer have to remember what the values we are using. So we use this one or we multiply uh, our formulas by using the formulas that are indicated at the upper part of our worksheet. So let's start it. So welcome again. If you do not if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Subscribe the channel, hit the panel icon as to get uh, the real notifications every time I enter I put in a video or a new video. So subscribe to us, like the video, share the video to your friends and families. Uh, yes, let's get started right now. Uh, extract the formula. This is the rule number one. A gold. Then we have here our pricing model or cost price times multiply by P1 this is our markup rate this is the rate we have then top key then as normal we add these two equals D5 plus C5 the markup you get there Cell D5 will display our retail price we calculated, and then you go to cell E5. Cell E5 contains equal to the VAT rate, yeah, equal to D5 multiplied by 14%, which is B2. Then hit Tab key to move to the next column. And F5 equal to E5 plus D5. You multiply these two, the tail and the fat rate. The discount, customer discount was uh, 5%. Here we have it displays here it appears. Cell B3. Then you multiply the selling price by B3 just count it in. then you have to watch it here as we did before we selected all cells that contain the formulas from C5 to G5 and then you come here the autofill button at the bottom right hand corner is called the fill handle and then you drag it up to row 8 It's a problem that has, that faces here. What is this problem? This is what causes it. How the way we use it for our formulas. We use two cell addresses. These two cell addresses make changes for the formula when I copy. Uh, when I copy my formula from row five to six to seven to eight, yeah, Excel want is uh, to use relative addressing. Yeah, this is an important thing that you want to. Uh, that you are to understand it if you didn't understand how excel uses the formulas or cell addresses how it works you will confuse please don't confuse no problem this is uh, as i have explained it uh, part one this address changes when i copy from next level from one level to another level 
it changes. Formerly it was uh, the original formula was reading B5 times B1. Then when I copy to row 6, it changes B6 times B2. B2 is the VIT rate, but I wanted to multiply this one. So this B1, when I'm using for markup column, it will be constant, a fixed rate. Then when I come to row 6, it changes to B7 times B3. Again, it multiplied by 95%. That is the mistake. And also, when I copy to row 8, it changes B8 and also B4. Yeah. On the other hand, when I come to G5, cell G5, here is F5 times B3. There is a, what I was using, the right correct is here. This is the correct one. I use it. But when I copy it, Excel wants to move to the next level. It was B3. Then when I move it one row down, Excel also adds another row when I copy it. It became, it was formerly F5 times B3, it became F6 times B4, then F7 times B5, F8 times B6 also. So I wanted to delete this as to make them correction. Yes, what you do? Very simple trick. Come here and then multiply or double click to, to enter edit mode or click anywhere in the formula bar especially the cell that you want to make relative or to change it the way it is we are taking the versatility for this cell so we put here dollar sign for the column and the dollar sign for the row yeah that is called absolute addressing yeah we make absolute when my casa is here on this side b5 i have different cost prices so I want to multiply these different cost prices. It will be like this. Then I want it to be fixed this row, this column, this cell address, B1, cell address B1. So I change this one, how it looks. Simply, you can press F4 on your keyboard. Then it changes like this one. Dollar sign B, dollar sign 1. That is the absolute. Then you hit the enter key. This is plus, no changes for this. This is correct. I'm not using this affix it. Come to the, sorry. Come to VAT. So I want to change this cell address as I did. The markup. Then when I put my casa near or in the cell address, I wanted to, to make fix it. Then you press F4, then tab key. This is also uh, correct. No changes for this plus. With this, I change this one. I fix it. So click on the cell B3, which I want to be fixed. And then you press F4 key on the keyboard. Simply. You can also type in the dollar signs here. If you know it, you can type. I selected the uh, all formulas after I made correction and then I copy it again. Yes, this is how I wanted to display my formulas. This is correct way. This one is looks like the one we had in part one, but what are the differences? The difference between these two is I have uh, I no longer have to remember what values I've used and my formulas for the mega rate, for the VAT rate and discount rate. I look at on that top of the worksheet. So if I want to know what is the rate for markup today, I see here. You look here. Then if some changes come in the future for the business, the markup may change, the also discount rate may change and also the discount it may be changed. You are, you may need to increase it. So if I change this one, an example, into 20% for the markup, because the, the economic is there are a lot of competitors in the market, so you may do some changes some days. Then my formula changes automatically. There's no need for changing. Then the other one is like this. 
if I made it here 16 percent for VAT task value at task value at task also changes to automatically you see here what happened yeah if I reduce it up to 12 it will change like this yeah this is why it is so important customer discount it may be 90 percent you change like this yeah you change one is at the top of the worksheet from sales b1 b2 b3 you don't need to interrupt your formulas hmm? this is the price model how it looks like this so if you understand this one please follow us subscribe the channel hit the bell icon and also like the video and share your friends thank you for watching the video have a good day have a good night anytime that you have welcome again